Look. Look. Uh. She's not gonna go in there. Alright, so let me know. Oh, this is nice. Alright, we put my uh thinking up. Oh! Oh! I'm gonna go too. Shit. Okay. Huh. Let's do that for me before. <laughs> oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, this is the other. boxes in here. People come in here all the time. <laughs> this is somebody's office. <laughs> As they watch us. What is this yeah. stuff? This is funny. We were so scared to go back here. What's back there? There's no two doors. Jesus, they have to walk up all these stairs? Go all the way up? Yeah, go all the way up. What are these doors Just 
for the salt pump is. I don't know what room that is. Oh, this is the stairs. I meant the elevator. Yeah. This is the elevator that goes off that two and one every day. Oh, yeah. Yep. Creep. I am currently about to go to work. Um, I had to clean out my car. Y'all, Elijah has been sick. I heard that it's a stomach virus going around. I feel like it's only the kids though that's getting it because my friend, she said her um her son got it. Um. And I've heard like other, you know, other people say stuff about it, but it'd be, always be about the kids. Hopefully we don't get it because if so, boom, I'm next. Elijah always get me sick. Every time Elijah gets sick, I get sick. I like my hair like this um, a lot. So Y'all gonna start seeing this a lot. A little bang, bang, swoopy bang. With a little headband, put a little edges back. And that way it's not no pulling on your hair. And I can work like this well. You know, your girl hair getting a little long, so it's kind of be in my face sometimes, but I feel like because it's pushed back far enough, it won't get in my face. But, um, but, uh, yeah, I like this. Oh, so what I was saying, I'm currently actually about to be on my way to work, but I had to stop and clean my car out because your boy, Elijah, is so messy. I gave him one bag of chips and it looked like I gave him 32 bags, like, and just crunched them up anyways and he threw up in my back seat so because i mean actually yesterday and the day before that it was warm um he threw up in my car the day before yesterday but we spent the entire night the entire night <laughs> at the er so um i didn't really get an opportunity to clean my car out because by then it was cold and i wanted to get my son you know back in the house you know to get some rest Next day come around, which was Sunday. Um, I did clean it, but I didn't get the deep clean it. Like I need to deep, 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 deep clean it. So until then, every day I come clean out my car, I'ma wipe it down some more and some more, and then I'ma actually go get it detailed clean one of these days. I don't know. And I'ma let them um I need to park right here and then go park. Anyways, but um I'm gonna just let them do their thing. I'm gonna do that just like one time and then from there I'm gonna just keep my car very clean. Um, it's a lot of stuff because I just be having stuff in my car. Um, I just read there it be in my car and then whatever. But until you know, until I can get my shit together and everything settled down or whatever. Um, so yes but i am about to go to work i'm about to leave right now from the car place so i guess i'm gonna talk to y'all i don't know i don't know what tomorrow may hold i don't know what today is gonna hold just like um in a couple clips ago y'all seen maybe like three clips ago i don't know whatever y'all know what i'm talking about Y'all seen at my school, I was re at my school, at the at my job, I was recording because we found some creepy ass shit in that school. And 
that okay that one scene where it was like a dark a dark hallway and we walked in and the lights popped on the first time we did that the lights did not come on at all so it was just a dark ass hallway and then it was in some double doors all the way in the back of the hallway and it was open and it was dark in there so you really couldn't see nothing but they popped on eventually so it was scary y'all but we realized it wasn't that scary but that school is very creepy my section at nighttime when everybody started leaving about one two shit get real creepy today if anything happened i'm gonna show y'all um side note so y'all remember a couple vlogs ago of me doing a new year's resolution even though i don't believe in that stuff for real for real. i mean i do because it's just like what do you want to get accomplished this year or what you want to stick to this year but why do you got to start on new year's you know what i'm saying you can start any day you can start on a motherfucking wednesday if you wanted to it doesn't matter to be completely honest i feel like everybody's personal new year's is on their birthday because that's when it'll be a new year for you you know what i'm saying but that's not the point the point being in that vlog i mentioned something about my period y'all i know this part is tmi 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 okay um i mentioned something about me not having a period for a solid year at that time it was not a year it probably was eight months eight nine ten eleven twelve yes it was eight months because <clears throat> that was oh that wasn't even in january i did that shit late I did it in February, so nine months, whatever. Now it's April. April makes a full solid year because the, my last menstrual cycle was right after like the birthday party. I mean, a birthday um, of 2021. It's now April, right after his birthday, 2022. And I started my period. <laughs> so I don't know if this is just a yearly thing or honestly, y'all. Uh, I am heavy on the God, you feel me? I am heavy on that. Now, whatever you may consider your God to be is whatever you whatever, you know? I'm not here to talk about religion and none of that. You would never hear none of that on my channel. Um, I'm not religious, so take that as you please. But my God, <laughs> my God most high, the God that I believe, um, I feel like it was a reason that I did not have a period for a whole solid year, honey. Because all that year, I wanted a little girl so bad. And I was not being safe. I wasn't trying to avoid having a baby. You know, I didn't put a foot forward on making it, you know, being sure that I did not get pregnant. So <clears throat> I'm not saying I was out here busting it open trying to get a baby wasn't trying but wasn't trying to avoid it and y'all know how that is women men y'all know how that shit is you know so it's very easy to get pregnant um and i just didn't have no period so i feel like god was like this not your time this ain't the time for that and you ain't listening so cut that shit off and honestly i feel like all you all this whole that whole year of not having a menstrual cycle my emotions my hormones everything was all over the place like i literally like it's just weird like i don't i ain't gonna say i have i don't feel like myself because i mean i go through phases not even phases but there are times where it's like shit i don't feel like myself something is off but so it wasn't like that it was more so just like i just i just feel all over the place my emotions everything like the way i'm thinking the way i feel physically emotionally like my head like i just felt just didn't feel right so not having to appear in the age okay so y'all know that women who you know experience menopause already in life they they say like you know they're snappy mean bitches whatever the case may be whatever maybe that's why because your body is supposed to naturally do that and it does naturally stop but maybe that mess with you know what i'm saying so i don't know but right now i feel good i really genuinely feel good i i mean i i feel like i'm going through things in life but that's just fucking life you know what i'm saying i i feel like i remember myself always being so positive about things i feel like now, I've always been like 
paranoid and like iffy and an overthinker, but I was happy. I, I was always about life, you know what I'm saying? And like lately, it has not been like that. I've been just trying to get through the days. I've been just like, just all over the place and I'm talking a lot and I need to be leaving out for work, y'all. Two, 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 baby, what that mean? Let me know, let me know. Y'all, lately I've been seeing so many angel numbers. I see 222, 111, 1111. I see, I see 444. I see, I've been seeing 555 lately, but mm, just mainly those other four. Um, and actually my friend, oh y'all, so an uh, upcoming video, I'm going to be doing a review on a brand called Everything Cashy by my best friend, one of my best friends. Um, and I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all how it is, but y'all should definitely go support it because all products don't work the same on everybody. And I am very sensitive everywhere. So who knows how it's gonna work for me. It might not do that for you, but I'm going to <clears throat> do a little box opening. She gave it to me for my birthday. It was a gift. And I was so excited when I opened it. The shit looked like rich bitch shit. I swear, I'm like, okay, okay. But um, I'm going to do that on a separate video. So be uh, ready for that. Tune in for that. Make sure y'all got the subscribe button on. I meant, what? <laughs> Make sure y'all got the um, notification bell on so that y'all are aware every single time I drop a video. And subscribe because why would you not want to support me? Like, the fuck? And if you don't, trust me, baby, I don't want you here, okay? Um, but I'm about to go ahead and go to work. So I'm gonna talk to y'all later if anything happened. I don't know. If not, I'll see y'all on another day. Hope everything is going well for everybody. I hope everybody has high spirits and you know, just if it wasn't, things are turning around, you know what I'm saying? And if it's not, maybe you need to change things in your life, you know? Whether it's being forced to be changed or if anything is being forced on you, it's God letting you know, bitch, I'm trying to tell you to do this and your ass not motherfucking listening. So I'm gonna show you. That's just what it is. But listen, y'all, pay attention, y'all. Keep your ears open. Keep your eyes locked. Keep your, your, your mind open and expand. So you know, learn new things. Don't be simple-minded. Don't be closed-minded. Don't be one of them, okay? Peace, love. Hey, look, I'm God's chosen, soft spoken. Uh, ghetto poems, pure emotion. Look, I'm the type of nigga that's gonna keep going. Uh, spilling all this drink, we just keep pouring.